I just want to show you how good this power shower is. And if you go to my previous episodes, like Power Shower Booster, just check it out. And it's been the find of the century for me, I tell you. Because there's no way I'll get any water pressure in my bathroom. Right, finally finished the tiling. And I'm happy with that. That is not bad. It's got the window to clean up. I'm going to go out this tomorrow, let this go off, and then I'm going to run my bead of silicon all the way around, put my taps in, test my waters, fit this in, test it all, test, test, test. But I've uh, stained this, we ordered like a light oh, because to me it's gone a bit dark, but it, it's kind of, it's alright really, don't mind it. I didn't like it at first, but it's kind of growing on me. And then, last job is the ceiling. Do the ceiling, put the mirror on, on the wall, and then all I've got to do is put the towel rail and try and get some sort of colour. What do you think guys, I'm thinking... A very creamy yellow, like, but hardly just off, off yellow, like magnolia. I don't know. Uh, it's either that or a grey, but I just don't want all grey in here because of obviously the tiles and all that. I don't know if it's going to be too dark in here, but we shall see. But it's all about this wall getting the right colour, and we'll probably get it wrong. We tried to match this colour up, but we didn't like it. It's too green. I don't like that colour, so uh, we'll take a few goes, we'll get some test pots and then we're just, uh, I don't know, we're probably not going to hang around too much on this, like we'll end up getting two or three test pots and we're going with one of them, like I say, because down there is yellow, that's a yellow wall, I don't think it looks too bad, but it's a little bit too yellowy, so I want to go even less than that, very off-white, yellow, I say yellow, like a cream, that's what I'm thinking. And then it's going to match all this in. Just have a clean up. And then I'm into uh, my bedroom. I'm going to be doing uh, a fitted wardrobe, guys. So if you want to see how I do that, stick with me. And uh, yeah, I've uh, only ever done one. I've done one around my boy's house and I liked it. It, it came out really well. I'm going to be using uh, Birchwood Ply. Uh, it's quite expensive, but in today's world, it's not really. You can go really expensive on things like in life, can't you? But how much would a, a decent cupboard cost you now? Floor to ceiling, you could be looking at well over a grand, 1,500 quid fitted if someone come round and done it. So I'm hoping to get it done for a third of that. So we shall see, guys. Stick with me and uh, see me swear a lot. <laughs> And that's what I'll be doing. Back to my channel. I finally got the whole of the bathroom grated, and so now I'm going to mastic all the edges uh, up the corners and around the windows. But there's two golden rules before you start, which is pretty obvious. And one is to make sure the first thing is to make sure the tiles are clean, you get all the dust off. And the second is that you make sure that there's no water anywhere, even if the tiles are damp, you've got to make sure that this is bone dry before you attempt to mastic. Boom, check that silicon out, look. Big holes in that. <sighs> Nothing wrong with that, guys. Yeah, so that's the saying, you know the saying, practice makes perfect. Right, guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I've got all my plumbing in. Now I would have liked to have shown me doing this, but it's just, it's so tiny in there. It was so awkward filming. But uh, so I just, I just thought to myself, just get on with it, get it done. But all, all the plumbing's finished. It's uh, not bad. See, look, you see it, that's, that's the power shower kicking in. I just want to show you how good this power shower is. And if you go to my previous episodes, like Power Shower Booster, just check it out. And it's been the find of the century for me, I tell you. 
because there's no way I'd get any water pressure up in my up in my bathroom because there's no way I'd have got pressure from that. So all I've got to do now is just put my LED lights in, put my shelves in, varnish them, put a mirror in now, finished. I just want to show you that I've got a plaster of the ceiling. You're probably wondering what the hell am I doing here. But I've centered this wall, I've made it exactly, if you follow it all the way along, it's the same measurement now, because what I've done, I've struck a line and I've measured it all out so it's equal distance from one end to the other. And now I'm going to plaster this and I've got to make sure that I get that bang on, bang on to that masking tape. Because uh, when I do my silicon in, I want it to be perfect, do you know what I mean? And then I'm just going to silicon up on the tiles there, over there and around. And that's it, hopefully that's the way, I, well that's just the way I think I'm going to do it. Happy days. Happy days. Not happy with my bath panel for some reason. That's not going really nice. I'll have to have a little fiddle with it. And uh, I've stuck this towel rail on. It's, it's loose. It's not fitted. It's just hanging. I've got a, I've got to fit it properly. So if you want to see how you do these um, these electric heaters, like uh, just uh, keep an eye out because I'm going to be putting this one on as well. Like uh, how to install this. But um, the electric side of it, sadly, guys, is my boy's going to do it. So um, I won't be showing you that. But again, like you need to be competent in, in doing things like this. But uh, you have to put some kind of fluid in it, mix it with water, and then it just it just turns on with the electric. It's got timers on it and stuff like that. You know, that's the control down now. Really simple. You just screw these these lugs in. Uh, this one's got a bleeding nipple, that one there, can you see it? But I think it goes on the other side, so I think I'll put it on the wrong side. Um, I'm just going to copy what like a rad would be, you know what I mean? Like when you've got your thermostat, you put it on the other side, I don't know. But I've, I've watched a few YouTube videos and uh, there's not many explaining it that good. But yeah, I'm just going to film myself doing this. Hope for, well, I say I'm going to try because, uh, like I say, there's no room. I'm literally leaning against this wall, and that's it. Boom.